Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ebony. I am a human design coach, slash reader, slash enthusiast, slash all of the things. So today in this video, we're going to be talking about the signature theme in human design. So if you are interested in learning more about this and what it is, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you are interested in booking a free alignment call with me and learning how you can use your specific human design to reach your goals in the next three months, then make sure you follow me on Instagram and click the link in my bio to book your call for that. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. So your signature theme in human design is basically the indication that you are living in alignment with your design. You are doing the things that you are meant to do according to your energy type, your authority, your you know profile, your gates, all those things. When you are feeling this as you know whatever energy type you are, you know that you are living in alignment with your human design. So this is the goal. This is the this is where you want to be in terms of, you know, using your design on a day-to-day -day basis. This is how you want to feel, how you want to kind of um, exist in the world. This is where you want to be um, when your goal is, you know, living in alignment with your design. So each energy type has their own signature theme and we're going to touch on each one in this video. So let's get started. So first up, we're going to talk about generators and manifesting generators. Your signature theme is satisfaction. And this is the feeling of energy well spent like when you crawl into bed at the end of the day you're just like oh, yes like i i used up all my energy doing the things that excite me that light me up i feel you know you, contentment like a feeling of fulfillment like you're just you're satisfied like you're exhausted but you're not exhausted like oh my god like i'm so tired and then i have to get up and do it all the next day like oh when you're feeling satisfaction as a generator or a manifesting generator it's like yes I am exhausted and I get to wake up and be exhausted again tomorrow. That's how you want to feel. And that is a, an indicator, a sign, a, a signal, if you will, that you are living in your design. You're living in alignment with your design as a generator or a manifesting generator. So again, that's the goal. You want to make sure that you're spending your time, you're spending all that energy on things that excite you and things that light you up and using all of that energy on those things and that will give you this feeling of satisfaction or fulfillment or contentment. So let's move on to projectors and projectors are interesting because your signature theme is the only one that isn't necessarily an emotion. So for projectors, your signature theme is success. And the reason why your signature theme isn't an emotion is because as a projector, because you are meant to, you're meant to guide people and help them, you know, improve upon things and become more efficient, your, the sign that you're living in alignment with your design is getting that recognition, getting that validation from the people that you're guiding, you know, seeing them you know, transform because of the knowledge that you gave them. And that for you is a feeling of success. It's not necessarily an emotion, but it is a feeling. You are feeling successful because you're guiding people, which is what you're meant to do. They're taking your advice and actually applying it, you know, then furthering their own goals and doing what they love to do. And then you pick up on that energy, especially if they're generators or manifesting generators. And it gives you this feeling of recognition, a feeling of validation, and it's also allowing you to do what you're meant to do, which is to guide people. And they're actually listening to you and taking your advice. And that, that is what you, that's your goal as a projector. You want to feel successful because it means that, you know, you're doing what you, what you're meant to do. You're doing what you're good at. You're guiding people. You're helping people. That's, yes. <laughs> That's all of what you're about as a project as a projector is guiding people, making them more efficient, helping them improve um, helping them improve upon things. And as you do that, the more that you get to do that, the more that you attract people who allow you to guide them, the more you will feel that feeling 
of success and recognition and validation. Um, just keep in mind that you should also be doing your own kind of self-validation practice because as I mentioned before in my conditioning for projectors video, sometimes you can fall into that trap of constantly looking for external validation, which can push you more into your not self theme, which I also talked about. So make sure you check out that video as well. But yes, so for projectors, your signature theme is success. And along with that, you want to make sure that you're defining what success looks like for you, because it's going to be different for everyone. Some projectors may have a different idea of what success looks like, and that's perfectly fine. As a collective, each projector can decide, okay, what does my success look like? What would make me feel successful? It may, it may look different from them. It probably will look different from them, and that's okay. So really taking the time to define what does success look like for me. So that is for projectors. And now we are going to move on to manifesting gen- no, yes, no, well, yes, manifestors and manifesting generators. So your signature theme is peace. And when you feel peace as a manifester or manifesting generator, it's really this feeling of everything in your life is just kind of flowing and you are just being guided and directed to do the things that you're called to do and everything's just working like you you don't feel like you have to force or push or make anything work you're just doing what you feel called to do and everything is just kind of falling into place in front of you so you have the freedom and you have this opportunity to just kind of be guided and directed to do the things that you feel called to do without having to feel like oh I'm I'm in this box or like um, the world is just so like rigid around me and I have no room to you know expand or to grow or to create which can push you into your not self theme but when you feel this sense of like calm and peace and you're able to really do what it is that you do as a manifester which I talked about in my energy type video you will start to feel this sense of peace and that is your goal as a manifester and sometimes as a manifesting generator so really opening up to that sense of yes like I I have the space to I have the space to flow and I have the space to move between all of these different urges and everything is just kind of falling into place for me. That is your signature theme as a manifester. And lastly, I feel like the reflectors are always some of my favorites to talk about because they're just, they're so interesting. Like the things that they're able to do are just fascinating to me. So as a reflector, your signature theme is surprise and the thing about it is that as a reflector you are meant to change a lot your centers are completely undefined which means depending on who you're around depending on the environment that you're in you kind of shape shift into like these different characters these different people depending on who you're around depending on the energy that you're taking in and the energy that you're reflecting back you are able to shape shift like into into these different kind of people which allow you to live your design and that is what's going to give you that element of surprise is allowing yourself to just kind of take everything in and experience everything and be that chameleon that you are a lot of the times reflectors will kind of fall into this trap of thinking oh like i it's oh i don't like this is bad or like um like why am i always changing why am i always shifting why can't i just you know be constant like in every single situation why can't i just be the same or like you know kind of shying away from who they actually are which is this beautiful like beautiful like chameleon and not allowing themselves to fully embrace that because they think that it makes them i don't know like shifty or untrustworthy or just you know 
like they're trying to copy people and that's not what you're doing you're just being who you are and being in those environments is very stimulating for you and that's okay being in those kinds of environments is going to give you that feeling of being surprised and being delighted because you're getting to take in all of this different energy and at the end of the day come back to you know your new your baseline your neutral baseline like i'm not saying you know you take in all this energy and you're the like you're just that same person forever like you've taken it in and now you can't let it go you can't release it no you're meant energy is just meant to come in and then flow out of you like you're you're literally a mirror you're just reflecting what you feel you're not holding on to it and when you allow yourself to kind of move, flow and move through these different you know <laughs> characters or these different kind of shapes that you're able to shift into you're going to feel surprised and delighted by life and that is where you want to be that is you living in alignment with your reflector design and that is going to make you feel a lot more comfortable with your design and from what i understand of the system because when you start to label things or even label yourself as being bad or like just just making it something that it isn't rather than just accepting that this is how you are and this is your superpower that you're able to give to the world you're able to reach that state of surprise and be in alignment much easier when you just kind of allow yourself to do what you're meant to do so i hope that made sense if it didn't feel free to leave a comment and i'll try <laughs> i'll try and like clarify in the comments um or you can message me on instagram either way but i hope that was helpful for you i hope that made sense if you are interested please make sure to subscribe to my channel because i will be uploading many 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 more videos and you don't want to miss any also if you are interested in booking an alignment call with me i will put the link down below in the description box and we can hop on a call and get you to your goals in these last few months of 2021 so i hope to see you in your i hope to see you in my next video and i will See you then. Bye guys. <laughs>